What's up guys, welcome back. This is Aldi for another Ableton Live breakdown. And um, today's episode we're going to uh, we're going to see the remake of the the latest uh, single from Alan Walker, All Fall Down, uh, featuring Noah Cyrus and Digital Farm Animals. So I'm going to give away this uh, ALP Ableton Live project. So what we will get is the exact same uh, files with this one. So let's check them out. Okay, uh, that will be the full track of a remake. So first of all, I'm going to show you, as always, I use the the original part, but only for one track, which is uh, the tail of the uh, chop vocals. This one. Yeah, I add another reverb and push the decay so I still can get the tail around a couple of bars okay yes only for one track and okay the first thing I'm going to show you is the guitar part this is quite interesting I have this group of track and 
Oh yeah, by the way, good news that Ableton Live has released the, the news version is Ableton Live 10. Uh, it has a bunch of new cool features that we can, one of them is uh, we can group tracks in group. So it's quite useful. Like I always uh, use a couple of groups track in here and I send it to the send so this time instead of sending those to the send tracks we can just group multiple of groups track okay so now let's get back to the guitar track and let's solo this take a listen The first one, um, yeah, the main guitar should be from this two. Okay, this guitar also, yeah, I always uh, use it a lot. It comes from the Ableton Live pack. This one, guitar and bass. So it will create such a realistic uh, electric guitar. Let me solo this. You hear that we have the guitar uh, string effects in here. That's pretty cool. And on top are the main notes. Until uh, this section, we will have the the strings effect, the fingering effect, the the slamming effect and all the realistic guitar sound yeah. so I use this one and set the articulate to around 100 okay if we push uh, push back the articulate we'll play the normal uh, ring uh, picking sound okay and I'll double it with another one, but I send it to the right. So we create a pen for those two. And I also lay it with a uh, contact uh, using the factory library. Okay, let's see. Uh, the factory library using the guitar and go to the jazz guitar this one uh, so I layer with this one to to be on the top sound the body sound The first two are playing a little bit of low end and the contact one is playing a bit of uh, middle to high. Okay, so in the group track I have uh, the effects processing which is a normal uh, low cut and a high cut. And I think I use the, I use the preset for rhythm guitar. So it will, uh, it will have a gate and uh, compression on it. So I add another compression and this one is an EQ to bring back the bottom, push the bottom. Yeah. It will help to create, uh, to simulate the sound of the, the amp cabinet. <laughs> like a combo amp sound and the last effect is the oh man okay let's see my trial is ended 
How about this one? Well, it doesn't make any difference, so let's just delete this. Okay. So yeah, that's the whole guitar uh, sound. I also use it in the drop. Okay, and the rest are the same. So moving on to the first one, uh, maybe later because we have. We should go to the second first. Let's check out the main lead instead Yeah, the first layer of the main lead are silent. I'm using the latest version. And uh, yeah, maybe you guys noticed that uh, this is original. <laughs> I'm so happy I can make uh, I can make a purchase of silence. Yeah. Okay. And this one is the customized uh, built-in preset and I forgot which one is it and I just made a tweak I turned down the uh, the release a set of the release to create this sound and add more reverb okay the next one I have this pitch sound which is uh, chopped from my sample library so if you get this project um, you can use this for quite a lot of uh, uh, main leads like maybe you can use it for a uh, type of uh, galantis lead or something or maybe a rehab type of sounds so this one's quite useful you can use it yeah just add another uh, glide you set the glide on and you can use the transpose up and down okay the next one I have this um, operators uh, live built-in instruments it sounds like this Basically, it's just a sine wave, so uh, nothing special, and I add a, a little bit of saturation using the fair filter Saturn and at the side chain. And the last one, I have serum. playing a bit uh, uh, one octave lower than the other Okay, 
For the group processing is simply just the multiband compressor using the OTT. Uh, add another reverb, add another compressor with the side chain, the auto filter, and I send it to the master track directly using the NLS channel. Which you can see here, I send it to the VCA group lead, which take me to the the main uh, channel, the main master, sorry, the main master channel lead. So I can have all the control of the main instruments directly on this track. And it also helps you to simulate the analog board of these three uh, popular console. Moving on to the next, it's a pad. Okay. A pad is uh, from Silence also, and this one is uh, a built in preset also. Okay. Yeah, simple. And I have the contact to get the chorus sound from a contact library okay. and I have the keys which quite a lot the uh, key started from the first first The first one is uh, again using silence uh, with the built-in preset I use number 38 key roads okay so and this one I uh, set the the glide uh, a little bit at 12 to 1 o'clock so we will get this The next one is also silence, same, but this one without the glide. The glide was set off just to play uh, the different notes on the drop. Yeah. The next one, of silence, this just the. Uh, um, yeah. Just initialize the uh, the the preset and set everything to off, and I just use uh, these two oscillators using a wave, a saw, yeah, saw wave. It sounds like this. Simple and the last one is massive. Oh, not the last one, we still have one more. Okay, the massive playing super soul. Actually, you can use any saw uh, sound, but uh, don't forget to use the noise because we want to sound a bit uh, noisy in the back.
Ya. Yeah. And the last one. Yes, we have another massive. This one is the organ. Okay. Yeah, this organ is the same uh, I use from the beginning. Also use it until the end. Okay, so all these are the keys. And the next are all these are the beats which I can just solo the sen sounds like this oh I'm sorry yeah pretty simple just a kick and a couple of uh, claps and snap yeah I'm I always use the uh, the sample song from cashmere pack for beats and effects so so you will get the the exact same sound like the the original artist used Okay, and I have the snare for the hit before the drop. Okay, that one was created with one big snare file. This one, and I layered it with the effects, also from Kashmir. It sounds exactly the same with the original one. And the next one is the bass, of course. The bass only contains three tracks, which is the sub, using silence also uh, built-in preset from silence and bass which is playing uh, also the same preset but a little bit on boost on the top top end okay uh, sounds like like this with the distortion a distortion set to on and set the glide also around 12 o'clock okay so it will match the key uh key sound on the built part okay and oh, sorry sub okay so sub are playing the low end and layer with the top end of the distorted bass and another one playing the same notes and the same uh, preset as you can see here And the last one is the effects. Nothing special, just just a noise, uh, exhaust sound, sweeps up, sweeps down, crash, uh, reverb claps, and sub claps, and the hard snare. All the same. You can see. And also for this track I send directly to the master uh, using the NLS channel so I can have a better control for the effects 
Okay. And uh, yeah, wait. So I send the main elements to the three send tracks. So I think just going to show you the bridge part over here. Like that. So on the main uh, master track, I set a bunch of uh, processing. Like obviously, I have this uh, NLS bus or master, so we can adjust the level and trim them or add the drive each of this track uh, from here. Um, to use this, for the main output, you must send this NLS bus and set this one to 8, which is the last one. This will be the main output for the whole master track. Okay. And you must, uh, you must put it in the first uh, chain of the, tr uh, of the effects. And also... The next one I have the sausage fattener. Simple, just add a little bit of color and fatness. Another OTT, the multiband compression. And the dynamic uh, spectrum mapper. This is one of my favorite. And I just found out when I use this plugin on, on Logic, I can have the, the preset uh, window open. But on live, I don't know how to access the preset because I don't see any preset button on here. So I'm quite a bit confused for for a while actually. And I just found out that we can access all the presets from here. So yeah, this is all this is how you access the presets on Ableton Live. Uh, I don't know about this one. I don't have any and this one also. Uh, let's let's try it. Eh? I want to add the uh, let's say this one. And how do we access the preset? Because on Logic you have another window on top. You can browse the preset on there. But in Ableton Live you you cannot browse a uh, preset. There's no window. But then I found out that you can click it here. Right, let's move on. So yeah, and the next one is uh, the isotope ozone, of course. I I use this chain. Actually, I used uh, from the preset edit detail preset uh, simply to to just EQ the low end and add uh, the high, the top to add a bit more sparkles. And the dynamics to turn down the bass, the low frequencies, and boost um, the mid range. And I also boost up this uh, exciter so it will get more uh, saturation on specific uh, frequencies. And also, there's an imager to spread the frequencies on stereo side. And the last chain is the maximizer, which is the same like uh, the limiter. Yeah. So let's play it back.
Yeah, and the last one we have the Nugent visualizer, and helps me to check uh, the frequencies, the outputs, the levels, and the stereo image. Let's check in mono. You gotta make sure that when you hear in mono, you can hear all the instruments, sounds balanced. Yeah, it's quite useful. So I guess, um, yeah, that'll be all for me. So you can download this Ableton Live project down below in the video description. And for those who just want the instrumental, of course, I'm going to give you the, the, the download link for the instrumental down below as well and maybe you guys want to use it for your fill logs or or anything else you can you can do it feel free to use it and have fun that'll be all for me and i thank you for watching i hope to see you guys in the next episode ciao